Hi Aries, this is Born What Avail, and this is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I took three decks, and I shuffled them really good to see this is for the month of August of 2020. So let's see what the spirits have to tell you in the month of August. Okay, this is your first deck. So we're going to look at your answer is yes. Some of you are pregnant. You wanted to know if that was the answer, and it's yes. This is not going to resonate with everybody. Father healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. you got to give everything you're feeling to heaven, to the other side. And they're there to help you. They're there to listen to you for the month of August, whatever you're going through. Personally, on the job, relationship, family, whatever you're going through with your children, landlords, jobs, take it to him. Accept heaven's help. You prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. You prayed for a lot of things, but you're not getting out the way. Once you pray for something, let it go. God hears you. Aries, you need to get some rest. You're not resting. A lot of you are going to have a lot. You're going to be have a lot of sentimental feelings in the month of August, and you're going to be very sensitive. A lot of you are going to be coming into some money, a windfall, lottery, wherever that you're at, whatever game of chance that you play, uh, job, inheritance, um, something from the state, stimulus check, you guys are getting some money. Love yourself first, Aries. Please love yourself more. Be a little bit more playful. Let your inner youth shine more within your life. And let your friends help you. Ask for help. Ask for and accept support from others. So some of you this time in August need some support of some friends. Uh, there's some things going on in your life and you need to talk to somebody about them. Okay? So that one is for Aries. This one is for Leo. So let's see what's going on with Leo. Empowerment. You're more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. Leo, you're, you are very powerful in no matter what you do. You're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results. They are helping you. You've been praying a lot, um, in need of a lot of things, and it's going to come for, you know, through in the month of August. You have the Midas touch right now, Leo, and every project you begin turns to gold. So whatever you're working on at home, a project for your job, a project for your own company, you got the Midas touch. It's going to go through and it's going to be good. Now, Leo, there is some deception there, um, whether it's a three-way love affair or if you're with someone and they're not telling you the truth, Leo, or you're not telling them. This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner that you seek. So you've already met a person, but there's still deception there. There's some red flags, and you need to check into those red flags. Leo, very soon you're going to clearly decide what you want in a relationship. You're going to have to make that decision in the month of August. Also, you're doing some dietary changes. Um, you need to detox. You need to start eating more green vegetables. Um, some of you need um, entertainment purposes only, but some of you need a second opinion. Maybe about a surgery or a doctor. Okay? Get that second opinion. Plus, you're getting bored too. Uh, Leo, you need to find a hobby to do. Find something to do in case we get locked down again. Then you're going to start exercising, Leo. You're going to find that diet that you want to go on, and you're going to start exercising. Okay? Sagittarius, this one is for you. Grief at work. Uh, some of you are having a hard time at work or at home, um, or some of you are not working at all, and um, it's a problem. Uh, some of you recently lost your job, sorry to hear that, but then some of you are at the workplace still and there's some issues going on about the virus and you don't know whether you're going to have a job, you don't know what's going to go on, uh, Sagittarius. There's a change um, that feels like a loss. Like a loss. Uh, you need to talk to a grief counselor. Um, somebody's going to be performing a eulogy at a friend's funeral, at a relative's funeral, some entertainment purposes only. But some of you already know of somebody that's passed. There's only, I think, 10 or the inner family that can come to the funeral. Everybody has to wear a mask and stay six feet apart, please. 
but there is somebody that's going to speak at a funeral or has spoken at a funeral. But this is really for the month of August. So I send my condolences to you. Um, you know who you are. This is not going to resonate with everybody, okay? Now you need to join in. You need to join in more in your family, more in um, your friendships, more in your relationships, uh, Sagittarius. You're kind of like um, all you do is go to work, come home, and, you know, you really don't, get involved in things like you used to. Um, some of you are closed in, okay? You're in solitude. Some of you need to take better care of yourself. Um, diet change, go on a diet. Some of you need to lose some weight. Uh, some of you need to gain some weight. Um, you need to exercise. Um, but some of you can be in a state of depression uh, to where you need to take Get up out of bed, take care of yourself. Even if you're not going anywhere, get up, do your hair, put a little lipstick on, take a shower, put your clothes on. Don't get depressed because of what's going on around you. Now, uh, your religious factors. Um, some of you are following your parents' footsteps in the religion, and then some of you are going on your own spiritual path, okay? Um, you've had a past life with a certain person that you've come in contact with, Sagittarius. You've been talking to, you've been dreaming about. Uh, there's some feelings there. You may never get together, but you still have had a past life with them, and you still have feelings for them, okay? And even if you are with someone now, um, there's a lot of romance and passion there, and you've had a past life with them. In your last card, Sagittarius, some of you are with someone that there's not enough attraction anymore um, or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You've tried to hang on and hang on and hang on, and it just seems like it's not working out, okay? This is for a handful. This is not going to resonate with everybody, okay? So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that is a short mini reading for the month of August. God bless.